Hi, my name's Alexa and I work here at the Manchester Museum. All creatures need energy to stay alive. Plants get their energy from the sun and that energy is passed on to other animals. The way that that energy is passed on is through a food chain. As plants make their own energy, plants are always at the start of a food chain. Plants make their own food in a special process called photosynthesis. For photosynthesis, plants need four ingredients. The first one is carbon dioxide. This comes from the air. The second one is sunlight, and this comes from the sun. The other two, water and also minerals, both come from the soil and are picked up through the roots from the plant. Plants have different shaped and sized leaves, and we can see two very different leaves here. This one is from a broadleaf fern, and as you can see, it is enormous. Broadleaf ferns live on the floor in forests, so they need big leaves to capture as much sunlight as they can. This tiny little one is an individual leaf from a kind of pondweed, and this pondweed actually makes lots and lots of leaves, so the individual leaves only have to be very small. This is a rose bush, which is in our herbarium collection at the Manchester Museum. This rose bush is very old and is actually from 1894. As we may know about rose bushes, they have really prickly thorns on their twigs and branches. This is to stop animals eating the berries and seeds that live on it. Sycamore trees that you may have seen with these really cool helicopters are a way that these trees can spread their seeds round when it's windy. As you may have seen, these helicopters fly down to the ground and then the seeds can be spread over different areas.